I've led the efforts in the House to support the Keystone XL pipeline, a project that would bring more North American energy to the marketplace and put thousands to work. Labor leaders in my hometown of Omaha tell me it'll create 2,000 jobs here. So Keystone is primed to give our economy a shot in the arm and make energy more affordable. And it won't cost the taxpayers a dime. Despite all of that, the Obama administration continues to block Keystone using every bureaucratic trick and excuse in the book. The Keystone XL pipeline is a no-brainer. It's passed muster through several environmental reviews. It's picked up support from a broad grassroots coalition of unions and employers. The experts have weighed in. Now it's the time to build the Keystone Pipeline. No more delays, no more politics. Doing all of this isn't just about the dollars and cents. Our children will have the same chances, the same hope, and freedoms we've had. These are the blessings we celebrate during the rites of Easter and Passover. It's a time to unite in prayer and celebration, to renew traditions, lift up our spirits and tell old stories that remind us how trials and suffering can be overcome with courage and resolve. It's time for perspective. If we look for opportunities to work together and seize on them, if we choose to build on and not squander past sacrifices, we come that much closer to realizing the promise of a more perfect union and peace for one and all. God bless you and your families, and thank you for listening.